rites of passage in the um, world of sports. Uh, I liked winter sports. I used to like the snow. Um, a lot of people don't have snow seasonally. This really isn't a disadvantage. Um, public ice arenas are something that that do happen naturally in nature some places and yet there are good ways these days to make an ice rink um detroit we have campus marshes which has a free skate anyway myself I was a little child and um my older brother right next to the garage what we would call the garage so far as i know from uncle don the sport originated in Georgian Bay, Canada. And there's a reason why they could tell you about it. You used to call it, they was called it shinny. Uncle Don called it shinny. Have you been playing shinny? No, I haven't been playing hockey, Uncle Don. But um, I was a child, and a lot of people tell you, you know, coaches know how to do this. Um, but my big brother, in the middle of the winter, he, he shoveled to the grass. And next to the garage, he um, he put, and it wasn't a large garage, this is a city lot home. But next to the garage, which is brown wood, he put plastic down. A sheet of plastic in the snow. And um, sprayed it with a garden hose, let it freeze. And... Um, Pretty soon, there was ice. There was ice. The water froze. There was ice. He kind of had his way of uh, shaving off all the imperfections on it. And so I got tiny hockey skates for a child and started learning how to, how to skate. And I didn't take to it naturally like a lot of kids. I, you have to walk. And then you have to you crawl, you walk. You, there's I'm not a parent, but you know I've been a child. And, um, so in learning hockey, what they would do, for me, it was like a small little chair. You learn how to stand up on the ice and still hold your feet underneath you. Um, you know, kids that are, it depends on your size, really. I, like, I don't even know how tall I was in preschool when I'm learning how to skate at this tiny rink with the dog watching, you know. Um... Point being, it was there right next to the garage at the York House. And then as you grow up and you start playing rec league hockey, like for me it was over at where, um, I don't know what high school it is now. It was called John Lindell Ice Arena. And in hockey, even like the Red Wings, the Little Caesars Arena and Joe Lewis Arena before, you hear them say it, or like Don Cherry says it on the the... the the, um, it says it all the time, the old barn, the old barn, you know, and that makes me think, well, there are rites of passage years after a century after the sport was invented that, um, little kids like me, I grew up not next to the barn, but next to the garage where you keep the car, kind of like a barn, I guess, in a city house. Um, but so far as I knew, the sport originated on Georgian Bay in Canada. Where it would freeze the lake you know like here i live in alpina um uh the lake sometimes freeze sometimes it doesn't really freeze at the coast it just it depends on a lot of things in the weather um but it's it's a it's a northern or a very very southern latitude kind of sport you have to have ice and yet there are ways to do it and that's how we did it um rites of passage in hockey so I quit like maybe you move up like a level I didn't ever play what you call um, and I, I know for a fact they've named these things different things in different cities and all that one of the good things I'd say is still like they're not Campbell soup the Campbell cup this all goes back to food because when you have and like how Kansas City just won the Super Bowl even for American, you know, our pastimes for a lot of you big guys. 
is football. And the same thing that, you know, that's the Heinz family. And because it takes, and here it's Little Caesars. It's, it's, it's the pizza people, <laughs> pizza people. And it take it, think about it. It's, and again, over there it was Campbell's soup is good food or whatever. You have to think of that, like in New England, it's Mr. Kraft, because when you throw that kind of party for that kind of town, and you put Little Caesars Hockey League on the back of every single puck you give away for kids, they're going to need some food. <laughs> so, like it or not, um, food, service, and sports, and all this, it goes into how do you feed a city that big? They figured it out already. And thank you. Peace.